he was released about a half an hour ago and just got his ride home uh, just a few minutes ago. I did talk to Mr. Sosa about what happened. He said he took two bullets to the head. I asked him about the suspected shooter, Roddy Prince, and their relationship. I thought we were friends. We ended up friends, I guess. I never thought they're gonna come. I never thought, I mean, I would help him in the heartbeat any time, but after this day, I guess not. Now he's headed home to be with family and friends and is so happy to be leaving the hospital. Meanwhile, Harford County has released the 911 tapes from that horrific day. This is 911, hello? Yeah, uh, I'm at work and somebody just came in and started shooting. Hey, are you safe and out of danger? Uh, I'm outside with a couple of guys. We're behind us, the dumpster. Shortly after shots rang out at Advanced Granite Solutions in Edgewood, calls flooded 911. Hi, sir. This is the Harford County 911 Center. I just saw three guys running down the road and they're running away from it and they said somebody was shot and, and I'm calling for them. There was a lot of confusion for callers. This one thought there was some sort of gas leak and 10 people unconscious. What happened? Everybody passed out in the shop? Why did they pass out? We don't know why they passed out. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so send um, lots of ambulances. And you said that they're all unconscious? They're all unconscious. It's some kind of gas leak. Sosa says that he will do outpatient rehab. He says it could take an entire year for him to get back on track. Meanwhile, he says he's grateful for everyone's thoughts and prayers. Reporting live outside of shock trauma, Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.